guys, welcome back. Now today, we're going to be talking about the NHL expansion team in Seattle and them hiring Ron Francis as their new general manager. While the NHL Seattle team doesn't even have a name yet, it's looking like right now they have their first ever general manager. So what will Ron Francis bring for Seattle and is this a good hire for them? Watch till the end to find out. Now we're about a year away from the NHL expanded draft for the Seattle team. We don't know their logo, we don't know their jersey, we don't know their name yet, but we do know who the next GM and the first GM for Seattle will be. And right now, as it's looking like, it will be Ron Francis. Reported by both Seattle Times and Elliot Friedman, it's looking like Ron Francis will be the next GM of the Seattle team and will be the first GM for Seattle. Now we know Seattle's been searching for a GM for quite a while now. It's been a pretty extensive search. They've gone over a bunch of different guys, and it's looking like Ron Francis will be the guy they end up selecting. And again, it's pretty much been confirmed by the Seattle Times, by Elliot Friedman. While they haven't officially announced it yet, they will announce it in the next week, so keep an eye on that, but it will be happening in the next few days. Obviously, Ron Francis was a very good NHL player, playing with multiple different teams, but a great NHL career, and ended up being a Hall of Hockey Hall of Fame player, which is not bad whatsoever, and of course went to the Carolina Hurricanes position in 2011, was promoted to the GM position in 2014, and then was released back in 2018. That's when Don Rodell and Tom Dunn really took over that team and got them for themselves. Ron Francis has kind of been linked to Seattle since they've been searching for, and there's been some other guys that have been linked to Seattle, but Ron Francis has been one of those guys floated around. To me, having him hired there isn't a big surprise, especially Steve Eisman going to Detroit. Now, Ron Francis has some some amazing strengths, but some pretty glaring weaknesses. Now, with the Carolina Hurricanes, as I said, they built an amazing prospect pool, one of the best cores in the NHL, and Ron Francis had a big part in doing that. When it comes to scouting, when it comes to developing, he was one of the main guys doing all of that throughout his time there, and we'll give him props for all the young guys that he put all around that group to really make themselves special. But after that, when it comes to trades, when it comes to signing, when it comes to making the big moves, that's when Ron Francis really does kind of shelter. I mean, he does doesn't really make the big moves either. When it comes to signing, as it comes to trades, it, he never really did the things that Don Waddell would do, at least when it comes to boldness. He was never that guy to take that next step, acquire that player that will really put them over the top, especially when it comes to financial issues in Carolina. That definitely affected things, but he never really took that next step. That might change with Seattle, but that is something to keep in mind. And I think that lack of making that big move or making that big signing, again, is because he was the GM of the Carolina Hurricanes. At that time, they definitely did not have the money to go out and getting big free agents every single year. With Tom Dunnan, that did change with Carolina, but obviously he wasn't the GM when Tom Dunnan was there, so I can't understand that. And I think that can definitely change for Seattle. They pumped so much money into that team already, they might as well keep doing that. And Ron Francis, if he's able to get that whole team, is able to take charge, I think he will change his ways. I think he's learned with Carolina. He wants to still be a GM in the NHL. And with Seattle, that's a breath of new fresh air and a great opportunity. I think for the Seattle NHL team, it's a very good hire and a pretty low-key one. When it comes to Seattle, again, when it comes to expansion teams, for the most part, they are rebuilding besides the Vegas Golden Knights. For the most part, you are going to make the playoffs in year one. You might as well try to get as many prospects and picks as you can. And Ron Francis is great at doing that. And the picks that he does have, he usually slams on them pretty much every single time. And for a Seattle team that, again, needs that youth, needs that future, I think that's a great way to go. He might not be that GM that puts you over the top, wins you a championship when he is the GM, but I think he can build that core slowly but steady in Seattle. But again, for Seattle, I don't think they'll be in that contending mood, at least for the first year. They might not be this crazy playoff team that we might expect after Vegas, and I think that's okay. When it comes to rebuilding for the draft, Vegas did that beautifully. Even though they made the playoffs, they saw an excellent prospect pool, and they were able to trade away for fantastic players in the now. And Seattle, if it goes that way, could still do that. If they have those fantastic prospects, if Ron Francis slams on those picks like he did in Carolina, I can definitely see that being the route they end up taking. Again, it might be a little bit of a risk since, of course, it's hard to replicate Vegas as an expansion team, but Seattle obviously wants to fit that blueprint, and Ron Francis can make that happen. It's really interesting to see when Seattle is carving out their whole team there. They haven't hired a coach yet, but that likely will be happening in the next couple of months. But the general manager position pretty much is locked in for Seattle as Ron Francis, which is pretty exciting to hear. Okay, when it comes to Seattle, it's almost time. The expansion draft is next year. So we'll start to see a lot of that going for the trades in, in this next season. We'll see a lot of stuff going around the expansion draft and Seattle's upcoming future. So for Seattle, they'll be an interesting team to watch. And having Ron Francis as a GM is that next step they'll take. But of course, with this video, I need to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. 
So, let me know what do you think about the Seattle NHL team getting their first ever general manager. What do you think about Ron Francis in Seattle, and do you think it's a good hire or a bad one? But, if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, you can click on this card right here to watch my video on the Seattle NHL team and which names I think will actually be picked. But, that'll be it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on the Seattle NHL team naming their first general manager as Ron Francis, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.